Hello, my name is Joshua and I'm Com 231 Public Speaking Student. Thank you for having me here today. Over the last few years, Nick Rose sales have increased dramatically from 4% in 2012 to 7% in 2013. Living in the United States, you are bound to go to a party or a dance and see people wearing bow ties. People of all ages and women will even be there and will even be wearing them. I first started wearing bow ties in 8th grade through our high school and going to my dances and going to sports banquets. Today I will tell you about the bow ties and give you an example on how to tie one. We're first going to do the pre-tie bow tie, the clip-on, and the self-tie. But before we begin, let me give you a brief history. History may be a boring subject, but when mixed with fashion, it's worth your while. The bow tie dates back in the 17th century in Croatia. Mercenaries here would use neckwear to somehow resemble scarves. And over time, the upper class French citizens were adapted to this, and as time evolved into the neckwear and the bow tie of nowadays. Number one, we have the self-tied, which is right here, and it's already, it's already tied, and all you have to do is you find your length of the neck, and you just clip it on. You have already the clip-on tie, which has already come clipped, and then you clip it on. And then last but not least, we have the self-tied. I will give you examples, so steps one through seven, to show you how to tie this. So number one, you're going to need a button-down shirt, and you're going to need the bow tie itself. So step number one, to tie a bow tie, the first step is to make sure the one end of the bow is longer than the other by a few inches. The longer tie should be on your right side. So the longer is on the right side, or as you see right here. Cross the other length over the other one, step number two. Bring the longer end of the bow tie underneath the short end, and then bring it out from the center. As you see, I brought it out from the center to the side. Step number four, fold the short end of the bow tie horizontally. Step number five, place the long end of the bow tie over the shorter end. Step number six, fold both pieces together horizontally. And the final step is you take the long end and you flip it through the hole and then you adjust it to whatever measurements you need, and there you flip your collar down, and now you have a bow tie. And it takes time to adjust, loosening it and tying it, but there you have the bow tie. Okay, this is what I do. There you go. And I'm gonna read the steps, and as I read the steps, you would just follow my lead. So the first step is you put the longer end a few inches on your right side. Then you'll put the longer side over the shorter end. Bring the longer end of the bow tie underneath the shorter end. Then bring it out from the center. Fold the shorter end of the bow tie horizontally. There you go. Place the longer end of the bow tie over the shorter end. Fold both ends together. And then you'll flip that through the hole. There you go, on the bottom. There you go. Uh oh. Did I do that? Oh, flip it up and there you go. And no, well, that was a good try. And you wow. continue to practice as you go. And thank you for that. Thank you. So the bow tie is a type of necktie, and it consists of ribbon and fabric tied around the collar in a symmetrical manner. There are many kinds, the clip-on, the self-tie, and the pre-tie bow ties have been worn through the ages for all sorts of occasions and all different types of people. Tying a bow tie is hard, but it'll take you many times to figure it out, but it will make you feel super dapper. You can wear it for all occasions, so go ahead and be brave and get yourself one. Thank you for having me here today.